Welcome to my channel and in this video I want to talk about when the survivor of narcissistic abuse hoovers the narcissist because this happens too guys. So we're going to get into that in a moment but before we do as usual I always say if you would like to hear any other notifications of videos that I upload and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell and you'll receive the notifications. But let's talk about this. Sometimes we do the work for the narcissist. They cut us off, or at least, you know, they're done with us for that moment in their mind and they walk away. And instead of us letting them go ahead on about their business, we attempt to hoover them back. Now, usually when we're doing this, we're doing that out of a state of confusion because we're, st we're still not accepting the narcissist more than not for what they are. We're still stuck on what we thought they were, what we're perceiving that they could be and, and what they might be and what might come back to being like it was in the love bomb stage. But you know, if it's one thing that I've realized in life is most people are temporary. Most people that we come into contact with in our life are temporary which means they are not people that are going to be in our life long term. They are people for a season. And some of those seasons are extremely short. Now, people come into our life so that we may learn and grow from them and that perhaps we will help them learn and grow. But there's always a reason. But I've also learned in my life that when people want to go, let them go. When another adult decides in their mind that, hey, I don't want to be around you anymore, or you're not good enough for me. I don't need to know why. You don't have to know why. You don't need to get closure from them. You don't need to follow up with them. You don't need to try to reconcile it because they just might be doing you a favor. And as the case of it being a narcissist, they are certainly doing you a favor. Because as you can see, when you hoover them back down the line, you're going to regret that because that mask is going to drop again and then you're going to see what you really have on your hands. So, you know, I just want to put this warning out here as Valentine's Day is approaching and some survivors of narcissistic abuse, you may be single right now. And some of you may be feeling lonely. You may feel alone. You may miss having companionship. But do not try to hoover the narcissist back. Do not try to hoover them back. Because even if they do take your bait and come back to you, it's going to be more of the same. You know, once the narcissist has revealed their face to you, that is what it is. So don't you then go and put yourself back in the fire. Because the blaze is just going to be, get bigger and heavier and more widespread every time you go back to that narcissist. It just gets deeper and deeper. Let the toxic relationship go. Don't you be the one trying to hoover the narcissist back for any of those reasons. Get the closure from yourself. You do not need that kind of company. That narcissist is toxic. It is much better to be by yourself than to be in their company. Don't feel like you don't have anyone else. If you don't have another human being, if you think you don't have another human being on this earth, you still have yourself. You know, Valentine's Day, and I, you know, maybe I should make a separate video about Valentine's Day. I don't know, but I can address it a little bit here. It's not just about couples. It's just about love. And self-love is, to me, the most important love because you cannot pour from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty cup. So we have to take care of ourselves so that we can then take care of others and and spread our love to others. But we don't need another person to make us feel whole. 
feeling whole, feeling happy. That's something that we have to provide for ourselves. And then another person can come along and add to it. Not give us that, but add to it. It becomes unhealthy if they're the ones, if if we're relying on another person or something external to us to give us that happiness. Then that becomes unhealthy. And then that's when we set ourselves up because then what happens when that person goes? And the person can go for various reasons. They could just walk away from us. They can pass away. But what happens when they're removed from our lives and and we relying on them for our ha- our source of happiness? That's why it has to be an inner process, and only people can add to it, but they can't give it to us. So we have to get our minds right with these type of things, because once we find that wholeness and happiness within ourselves, then we won't need to try to hoover somebody that walked away from us. We'll realize, you know what? It's their loss. It's their loss. And consider, maybe, just maybe, that person wasn't meant for me. That person wasn't meant to stay in my life. If I occupy myself with that person, it's taking space from the person that could be the right one for me. They've already showed you by walking away. They've showed you what they cared about you. All right, so I don't want us, as the holidays are approaching, or any time, because this video is just going to be up here on YouTube past Valentine's Day. Don't have, you know, we can all have those weak moments where, where a silly idea crosses our minds. That's why we think before we act, because just because some, something passes our mind, it doesn't make it a good idea. It doesn't mean that we have to act on it. We can, we can actually sit there and consider and think about that. Should I be doing that? Is this person really what I need to be around? What has this person done to deserve for me to be trying to reach out to them to reconcile? Why do I need to bring a toxic person back into my life? You don't. You absolutely don't. Okay, so I just wanted to make this video as we're approaching the eight minute mark um, to advise survivors of narcissistic abuse to do not try to turn back to the narcissist for any reason, not for any kind of closure, not for reconciliation, just let it go. You can forgive them. They don't have to know that you forgave them. It doesn't have to be a drawn out conversation between you and them where you let them know, you know what, in spite of all this you did to me, I actually forgive you. You know, you don't have to have that conversation with them. You can just do it and know it within yourself and let go of the anger and the rage and resentment and the bitterness. That's the whole point of it is not you don't have to let them know that you're you're all fine and well in a certain sense and you know what I'm saying there's you're not trying to get revenge on them they'll know by you not messing with them by you not doing anything they're gonna know you don't have to tell them out loud okay so I just want us to be careful of these hooverings and also to the to those of you that are fresh out of the narcissistic abuse or the relationship and you've conditioned yourself and you're just so used to communicating with them and even when it's over you're feeling tempted to just reconcile with them to get back some quote unquote normalcy even if it's dysfunctional just so that you can get back in that pattern because now what are you going to fill your time with? Now who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to text? Who are you going to sleep with? Who are you going to go out with? You can you can find replacements. Why don't you sit with yourself right now? Sit with yourself right now. You don't even really need replacement as far as another human being per se. Replace the narcissist with yourself. If you want to replace it with another human being, replace it with yourself. Because that's where you need it to be replaced with. Sit with yourself. Unpack your own self. And see what you need to work on with yourself. Not telling you that you can't socialize, you can't accept a date from anyone. But 
do it when you're in a healthy state of to be able to reciprocate. Because anyone that you get with fresh out of the abuse may want more than you can give because you're going to be in a pretty broken state, chances are. You're going to need some healing from this narcissistic abuse, which is why you're not going to be ready for another relationship or rebounding into something else, not after you've gone through that traumatic experience, okay? All right, so I don't want this video to get any longer, but, you know, please do not hoover the narcissist back. Don't do the work for them. Because they may come back if they feel like there's some supply that they can still extract from you. They'll be happy like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't even have to work for this. She's she's already done open and cracked the door for me. Hmm. It'll be business back to usual. I really got her because I've abused her and everything. And she's she, he or she, they're still crawling back. They're still coming back to me. So they're going to accept me. They're accepting this abuse. And I'm going to dish out more and still get the supply that I want. This person is in agreement. That is what the narcissist is going to think. All right, guys. So no hoovering, guys. No hoovering. No hoovering. Write a list. Get busy in your own life and fulfilling yourself. What are some things that you want to do to improve yourself? What are some things that you would like to do? All right, let's start working on some goals. Let's start doing things to make you happy. Let's start some hobbies or get back into our hobbies. Start a business, write a book. Go here, go there. Enjoy life. All right, guys. So, as usual, until next time, guys, take care. No hoovering. No hoovering.